Well, it's that time of week again for another installment of Fishing Tips. On this week's segment, Ray and Mandy talk about fishing in deep water. Tonight we're going to talk a little bit about fishing for deeper fish, fish that are down in that 18 to 30 feet of water. Uh, how do you get down there? How do you get your live baits down there? How do you get your crank baits down there? And there's a number of different ways that this can be done that are pretty easy to use. And one of the common ways is to use what we call a bottom bouncer. And a bottom bouncer uh, comes in a different couple of varieties. I've got one here and Mandy's going to show you another one. But the basic idea of this is you tie your line to your rod and then you drop this into the lake and that weight is you want it to be straight down as much as you can. About actually when you're moving trolling, you want it about a 45 degree angle from your boat. And so when this is bouncing, you have a leader a uh, line that runs back, and I have a long one here. This is about an 80-some incher, but if you're in 30 feet of water, you want it away from this. You don't want the fish to be hung up by the bait with the, the bouncer. You want them to be looking at what's on the end of the line. So you lift it up and down, and when you get a bite, usually you drop that rod tip back just a hair and then smack it. And it's a very effective way to catch northerns, bass, in deep water bass, and also walleyes. Here's a smaller weight that you've got, also very effective. Uh, simply tie your line onto here, and then you would tie you, your bait or your snell, basically. There again, Ray goes way overboard. That's a big snell. Uh, personally, I, I like a, you know, a three to four foot snell. Um, so these come in different sizes. There again, a different style. Then you've got one of these. This is kind of a neat product. Actually, it's fairly new to me. Your age just showed this to me, but uh, the principle of it is you run your line through here and then simply push the orange tab back down in there and that holds that weight in place on your line. But big, small, bigger, they all seem to work. I'm Ray Gildall with the Nisswa Guides League. And I'm Mandy Yerk, the Bassin Biologist. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.